Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be taking down the compound. So without further ado, let's get started. You here visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. You know, I'm people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. Is that what this place is called? Yeah, we're a real up-and-comer. A pit stop on the road for traders and such. We're not that big, but we got the bargains. Got a dock that can patch you up? We even got some lemonade. Well, that's what Deezer calls it anyway. There's a small catch, though. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's got to take it. Interesting idea. Between you and me, what's the test for? I probably shouldn't say nothing, but listen. We want to make sure only good people come into Covenant. No undesirables. Nobody that ain't actually what they seem, you know? I'm new to the area. What do you mean about undesirables? But you don't know about... Jesus, listen. Not everyone in the Commonwealth is human, okay? Some are... synths. I'm not going to say anything more than that. Just take the test. You pass, and you can come inside where everything's safe, all right? Do I really have to take the test? Hey, rules are rules. You ready? Sure. Good. Take a seat, and we can begin. So let's begin. There ain't no wrong answers. You are approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? I wouldn't worry. If he did that, it'd cause parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity. Uh, yeah. Next question. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Medicate the infected area as best I can. You have a medical background. You discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? I lead the boy to safety, then turn him over to someone in charge. Very curious. Congratulations! Hey, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? Pitcher. Are you certain about that? Never mind. Next question. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill someone. What do you do? I'd give her whatever she wants to spare his life. Hmm. Typical Class B. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? I'd grab a bobby pin and pick the lock. And that is all you'd do? Nothing else? Wait, don't answer. Next. Oh, no. <laughs> You've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? I dose myself with anti-mutagen agent. Ignoring possible. Yes. A neighbor is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? I'd trade him for one of the comic books I own. Hmm. You're almost done. Last question. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking, and... I'd put a firecracker in his toilet. <laughs> that never gets old. Test's over. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. I'll open up the gate. Come on, bud. Let's open up the gate. But, eh. Welcome to Covenant. Head on in. Penny's shop is usually the first stop. 
Let's go to Deezer, get some lemonade first. After a long day, nothing beats Deezer's lemonade. Hey, Deezer. Would you like some free lemonade? What's in the lemonade? Deezer's lemonade is made of goodness. Four special ingredients from sunny, non-irradiated environments, all in one cold glass. Try it and enjoy or take advantage of the money-back guarantee. I'll take some. Enjoy! Let's turn off this radio real quick. And then we're going to go talk to Honest Dan. You from around here? God, I hope not. I've had enough of these hicks. You have a problem with the people here? All the fake smiles and the fancy talking puts me on edge. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? A caravan? I'm not really the trader type. Well, this isn't about trade. I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. Got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. If I help you, I want something up front. If I have your word, you'll help. I'll chip in 50 caps now. That's above and beyond the deal. Sounds fair. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved. Somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. Let's go check for clues at the caravan. It's just down the way here. It's not far from Covenant at all. Caravan was hit awfully close to Covenant, all right. We're just going to loot everything real quick. Deezer's lemonade, huh? The caravan definitely stopped in Covenant. That house right there is a settlement if you want to go grab it. Be careful for those irradiated uh, barrels, by the way. Now let's go talk to Penny, and then we're going to hack um, a terminal. Also, when we talk, after we're done talking to Penny, we're going to buy some uh, legendary items. Hey, the, uh, the leg's still on the mend. You have anything for the pain? Enjoy your stay! I hope Swanson didn't give you too hard a time at the gate. The if you ask me, I think he takes his job Any too seriously. But injury. welcome. See Everyone around you. here calls I'll me Mrs. Then. Fitzgerald. Thanks, but you, cutie, can call me Penny. Nice to meet a friendly face. You're in luck, then. Covenant is the friendliest place in the whole Commonwealth. You'll see. You here to shop? I'll make sure to give you a good price. Do you have time for a few questions? For you? Hmm, <laughs> certainly. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? You've been talking to Mr. Dan. I don't know what he's carrying on about. He's just stirring the pot, if you ask me. Definitely. He has such an attitude. I know! He's so smug. 
And Dan thinks he's the one helping people. He wouldn't know the first thing about making the Commonwealth a better, safer place. Uh, he should be thankful you let him in. Instead, he stomps around interrogating people. If the compound did do something to his precious caravan, they had reasons for it. Better reasons than a man like him. Hmm. You know, honey, I... I was just shooting off at the mouth. Just forget anything I said about that and the compound. I have to go. Slip of the tongue, huh? <laughs> Let's uh, talk to her one more time. We're going to get the legendary shotgun justice. And I forget what the legendary helmet is named. Uh, we need to buy them now Enjoy because we stay. will not be able to get them later. Penny. You here to shop? Well, if not, I'm sure you've got places to go and all. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed your stay. What's in stock? Take your time, sweetie. The helmet is called the Destroyer's Helmet. Let's go inside this house. Penny's husband, Brian's going to be in here. It's the third radio this month. Ted better get on this pronto. Yeah, you get out of here, bud. By the way, we don't need to be holding our gun. Close the door. You can pick up this uh, safe report if you like. I'm not going to. We're actually going to hack this terminal. That's some serious security. You just have to read the uh, fisherman's draft. And it'll give you the location of the compound. Let's talk to Honest Dan again. They're hiding something. I'm sure of it. Hey, Dan. You find out anything about the caravan? Well, what have you been up to? Not a lot. Everyone's got their eye on me. But I'll keep trying. They took the survivors to a compound. Then we're in business. I'll meet you there and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. Hey, a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. Just come out and say what you mean. Maybe you heard a rumor about Stockton's caravan and a certain compound? So, hypothetically, let's say there's something to that. We wouldn't do anything unless we had good reasons. The best. Tell you what. You just stop this investigation, and I'll give you a gift. One hundred caps. And then you'd be welcome back here as our friend any time. Give me the caps, and I'll drop the whole thing. Well, I was hoping for a fight, but I wouldn't mind walking away with the caps instead. Here you go. Come back any time. Let's make our way to the compound after uh, taking them easy 100 caps honest dan is going to make his way to the compound as well instead of taking a right we're going to take a left place. up here we've actually been over this way a while ago into the walkthrough This is where um, we went by the graveyard and we accidentally killed the <laughs> guy. Well, we didn't accidentally. We accidentally shot him and then we had to kill him uh, when we were getting rid of the mole rats. By the way, if you did keep him alive, he'll still be over there and the mole rats should still be dead. I think that's how that encounter works. He kind of takes over that uh, spot the little junkyard over here right here so you can still see the uh, mole rats dead we're almost to the compound we just uh Got to go up the way a little further here. Let's 
take a left right here. And we might as well put on some Radaway now. Or not Radaway, Radex. Sorry about that. Hop over. And then the middle tube is the one that we want to hop down in. I'll see everybody inside. I hate this place. Hey, Dan. Some people up ahead. I'll follow your lead. Outsiders aren't allowed. Why are you here? Who are you? I'm asking the questions. Why are you here? I'm here to rescue the survivors from Stockton's caravan. I can't let you do that. This ain't personal. You should... Take all of them out really quick, and you won't alert everybody. Grab the uh, compound key. Also, all this security armor and the helmet um, that you see them wearing is unique armor. It's unique to the compound. So if that looks cool to you, uh, be sure to scoop it up. Something valuable inside to justify all this and when I say it's unique, it's unique to Covenant. You you can't find it anywhere else in the game. Voltec uh, lab coat. I want that. Let's loot this stuff real quick. And then right here is a hollow tape. Let's go ahead and listen to it. How are the subject's vitals? It's a little unsteady, but within... Who, who are you? What? what? Ah! Son of a bitch! Do that... Ah! I will only say this once. Speak only when spoken to. Please continue. The subject is ready for baseline testing. Subject. Answer the questions quickly and with what first comes to mind. You're approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Is that... that safe test... Ah! Answer the question. I, I... I... I don't know. I don't know science stuff. I... ignore him. Ignore him, you say. Hmm, fascinating. Let's continue on. Who? What the? Something's out there. Let's grab the fusion core Find real fast. Them. see where those other guys are oh got one should be a few more get one second gone the next what Move just it. happened you you killed him maybe it's over let's loot these guys real quick
We're gonna go through this door. It's over. Whew. Find anything useful on him? Let's listen to another hollow tape that is on the other side. <laughs> I knew that. I knew that. Confidence on subject 12 is high. We'll know for certain post mortem. And any progress on question 3? None. The EKG shows nothing unexpected. The answers are too damn predictable. You've made your opinions quite clear on the value of question three. Removing it could invalidate all the data we've accumulated to date. Moving on, question four. The data on this is fascinating. Why does baseball have the highest degree of correlation? Even more than question eight. Our methodology was exhaustive. Subject 12's answers in regards to baseball and his childhood were particularly fascinating. See here and here. I wonder, do they play baseball in the Institute? Or is there some sort of defect in their programming? We need another failure to explore this further. We can do nothing more with Subject 12 except final processing. I'll let the reclamation team know. If you want some more lore on the compound, uh, this terminal can help you out with that. Let's get out of this room. What the? He's coming up here somewhere. Gone. Gotta be. No, I'm not gone, bud. <laughs> what? Oh, you see me? Bastard. Whoa! That dude definitely was good at throwing Molotovs. Protect the doctor at all costs. Did I loot the other guy? Uh, he must have fell down go? here. Bastard. Bastard. Alright, we can stand up now. And here you are. My life's work on the verge of ruin, all because of your efforts to find Stockton's supposed daughter. You do know she's most likely a synth, yes? If you are more than a hired gun, perhaps we can stop this before it's too late. I'll give you a fair hearing. How considerate. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you? When you were but a child, would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something about it? Believe me, I've been there. But I haven't resorted to torturing innocents. Casualties are inevitable. It may not look like it, but we're at war. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden synths, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? You can't seriously want to kill all the synths. We most certainly do, but we have to find them first. A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out, psychology can detect a difference. Enter the SAFE test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. 
It sounds like your test may not even work. There is a correlation. We've measured it. We just need more data, more test subjects to narrow it down. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton Synth and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me, I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. Are you threatening me, Dan? I have myself a code. That's not always good on my wallet, but it helps me sleep at night. I took this contract, and I will honor it, even if I have to kill you to do it. Don't kill the girl. Spare her. Come on, Doc. Think what you're up against. Impossible. The odds are too great she's an Institute infiltrator. Even if she is an unfortunate victim in this war, sparing her can compromise everything. Sorry. That's a deal I won't accept. You should have offered more, lady. Oh well, too late. Then you'll just have to kill me. Then that's what I'll do. Looter body. You're splitting all that, right? Loot the first aid kit. In the cap stash here and then let's go up to, to be something worth a few caps in here yep let's go up to this lady here Amelia hey <laughs> please don't hurt me it's all right you're safe now oh thank you thank you I'm Amelia Stockton I'm not a synth I believe you I just want this nightmare to end my father, old man Stockton, he will reward you. Just let me out, please. Oh, thank goodness, I'm free. I'm never ever coming back here. You can get a reward from her if you go to um, Bunker Hill and talk to Stockton, by the way. Let's talk to Honest Dan. Hey, Dan. So Stockton gets his daughter and we get paid. Not a bad day. It was good working with you. Likewise. Glad you were on my side. Here's your cut of the reward. I'll get my half from Stockton. Been a pleasure. I did more than half the work on this job. My share should reflect that. There's some truth to that. 60-40 work for you? 60-40? Really? Try 90-10. 90-10? Is that a joke? I risked my life, same as you. 70-30 is my final offer. Without me, you'd be dead. Maybe I should ask for it all. Fine. I'll give you 90-10. But if you want the other 10%, you better be prepared to fight for it. We made quite a few caps in this um, quest. Not a crazy amount, but enough. Let's get out of here. Take some Radex. Be going back out into that water. Get out of my way, Honest Dan. Let's heal ourselves with a stim pack. For some reason, I'm not taking radiation at all, which is good. We shall thank the Glitch Lords, the Almighty Bethesda, for not taking radiation damage. <laughs> uh, Lord. Now let's 
backtrack a little bit. We're not going to go back to Covenant. If you'd like to, you can uh, kill all the occupants of Covenant and then turn it into a settlement. That is completely up to you. I don't know what McCready's doing. Getting stuck on a light post. That's what I'm doing. We're almost finished with this video. We're going to go to one more spot. We're going to grab a magazine. Not going to take us long. And then we're going to end it in front of a metro center. And when we get or when we come back, not get back, when we come back into the next video, we'll probably be picking up a few magazines and finishing up the Lost Patrol quest. We'll see. We shall see. For now, we just need to get to our destination. Covenant's over to the right here. So, like I said, if you want to take um, Covenant out, turn it into a settlement. It's a pretty cool settlement, in my opinion. Easy to uh, fortify, that is. It's kind of already fortified. Also, I know that I mentioned this earlier, but if you go down to that house, there's a little mini quest and you can turn it into a settlement as well. I'm not worried about it. As soon as we get past this bus, we're going to crouch. We ha we're going to have a few super mutants. I'm feeling eyes on my back. I don't know why I'm in caution. I don't see any red markers. Two to luck? Oh, that's that. not bad. Grab the mini nuke. Let's go inside. First thing we want to do is take out the super mutant sent down. There's going to be a super mutant hound that's going to want to kill us. But we'll wait for it to come around the corner. No green stuff here. We're going to go over to this door here, we're going to pick the lock, grab the magazine, and get out of here. Sweet. The magazine's right here. Excellent. Another really cool cover to a magazine. Just saying. Mm. Let's go back down the stairs and exit this building. And then go over to the Metro Center and end the video. We're going to stay crouched. Uh, usually there's some synths over here and it's just easier to take them on. Crouched, hidden, incognito. Systems offline. Sweet, we got a level. Thought there was more than one. It's just, yep. Is. It's just about to say. Let's check it out first, and then we'll uh, stand up. Loot a little bit here. 
we're gonna put the level in before we end the video let's put our gun away go into our pit boy like I said we're gonna start putting it into toughness I think after we put four more levels into toughness we're going to put uh, three levels into ninja which will help our sneak attacks by then we should be um, pretty sneaky so that will be very useful we'll be one-shotting most everything just doing an auto save alrighty everybody with that being done I would like to tell everybody thank you for stopping by I really appreciate it if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up button if you didn't hit the thumbs down button let me know why down in the comments below it only helps the channel also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. And as always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.